Right, so we've just been shopping and so maybe this would be a good time to talk about how you optimise, because you're sort of officer in charge of food optimisation for the week. Mm. Um, how do you select what you select and how do you make sure that we don't have waste and whatever? Well, I generally buy just what we need for the week. Um, on a Sunday morning we have avocado and uh, half a rasher of bacon on a croissant so that's our treat for the week so to speak um, so one of those goes into the freezer this is for dinner tonight which we're having with uh, some pork some roast potatoes roast pumpkin um, which I already have uh, this is for the potato bake and chicken that we're having on three nights of the week and all this is for uh, French onion soup that we're having two nights of the week. So there's no waste. Okay, so and why did you select those things this week as opposed to other kinds of food? Oh, presumably there's like healthy dietary factors involved in your choices here? Well, yes, because uh, the potato bake isn't particularly healthy if you ate an absolute shit ton of it. But I put it in a bowl, uh, I bake it in a container, whoops, this big. So the potato bake does us three meals each, mm -hmm. so that's not over consuming. Even though it's a little high in the fat content, because I'm going to use some cream in the uh, sauce, but it's only a piece mm. that big, so it's not over consuming and it's delicious and I don't eat anything I don't like. So if I don't like it, I don't cook it, I don't eat it. Because we're very conscious about the actual calorific content of items and the fat content, although we'll talk about that probably as a separate thing. Yeah. So this is all factored into all this, well, isn't it? Well, it's lean meat, it's potato, it's asparagus and mushrooms, onion, and if I feel the urge, I'll put some pumpkin into that. So it's packed full of vegetables. Mm. It's one chicken breast between us for the week. So it's not overly um, calorific, really. Avoiding things like too much uh, fatty red meat, yeah, for we, example? Yeah, we, well, we don't have fatty red meat. We do have red meat because everybody needs mm. some iron. Um, and the other two meals this week are uh, vegetarian, so mm. French onion soup. So no harm, no foul. Well, I never feel like I'm being, you know, deprived of no. tasty meals or anything. And neither you should. And, and as you'll probably see in, a, in another video, uh, everything has worked out so that we've got at least a, um, a small calorific deficit every day. Mm. Because we have our smart watches and things that count, yeah. you know, our activity and that links to apps the that apps, and yes. then it's all worked out in terms of if you're trying to maintain your weight or in our case lose a bit of weight no. you've actually got to end up with a calorie deficit yeah. don't you now some of you might think that we're having croissants that's terrible but the day we have croissants we don't have lunch mm. we only have breakfast at about 10 and then we have dinner at about 5 36 so mm. there's not this uh, meal in the middle so mm. Even though the croissant is a little bit more calorie dense, uh, it is also only one of two meals. Mm. And we don't deny ourselves things like, you know, cheeses and things like the milk is full cream milk, for example. It's not no. skim milk. No, don't do skim milk. Uh, we have, um, there'll be on the potato bake, a light uh, drizzle of grated cheese. Mm. Um, I still have a yogurt ice cream every night. Mm. Just life, show, show us the yoga ice cream. Life without ice cream yep. would be not worth living. Yep. Those yep. So, um... And I like the, uh, frozen yogurt and the sorbet, which is actually mostly water with just a bit of lemon flavouring, so, you know... It's still got calories, but... Yeah, but not much, in, yeah. In fact, in, and we have, uh, nuts and, uh, things for snacks. Yeah. So we don't deprive ourselves of anything, but we are conscious of what we eat. And everything, any, every one of these meals has got a calorie count that you count on your app, haven't they? Yes. Which, which we'll talk about that in, in, an, in the next video, probably. Okay. okay, well, that probably wraps that up. Any final thing about making sure there's no waste or anything? How do we um, make sure that there's no leftover waste? Well, I only cook enough for the week, so I actually only buy enough. For the week. So I don't need potatoes this week because I bought them last week. So I use them um, 
and leftover if I have salad I buy the bag salad so that I know oh that's two meals we're yeah. good to go and where do you get the actual recipes from is it just handed down stuff or magazines or uh, well <laughs> Google <laughs> if I need a recipe like French onion soup, I googled it this morning yeah. and found out the ingredients I need, checked what I had uh, and figured out that I needed some onions huh? yeah. and so that in the stock. Yeah. Other than that, um, I've generally got staples. Yeah. Okay, so um, you look after most of the, well, all the evening meals, oh, except for Friday. I, it, I might sound like a bit of a, I don't know, a toxic male here, having Meryl do all that, but I do look after all the lunches. And breakfasts. And all the breakfasts, and at least one takeaway every week. So right. I guess in terms of... You know, organising the meals. I don't actually do a lot of cooking, although the breakfast involves a little bit. Yeah, um, toasting. <laughs> that's right. I've got to put the spreads on, and that's and true. the lunches I've got to go out and pay for them. Well, that's true. Yeah. But we do even then pick uh, <laughs> options that are calorie neutral. I guess. I mean, we have avocado yeah. on toast two or three times a week. Yeah. We have. Um, sandwiches that we only share half of because yeah. they're quite calorie dense but we only have half of it so it's not so so terrible yeah um and other than that i mm. guess the main one that we have would be a friday night dinner where we have um cut loose well we do and again we only eat pizza half. maybe uh, well, we eat half of yeah. what what we buy each so it's yeah. not like and there's no waste because yeah. we have it out yeah generally yeah so so it's all in balance we don't deprive ourselves and uh, we seem to be able to maintain a calorie deficit almost every day don't we yes, anyway we'll talk about that in yeah. the next episode okay thank you meryl <laughs>